there. Oh, we, lost. we lost. Nine. Look at that guy's doing the moonwalk. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's just fucking boloed. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> <What's the fucking> <laughs> hey everybody, this is Austin, otherwise known as Uplesoft, otherwise known as the world's most inconsistent YouTuber. I know I haven't uploaded in like four months, and then all of a sudden I decided to. Uh, stream out of nowhere, so really sorry for not giving y'all a heads up. A lot of stuff has been going on at work, and I just thought that I'd, you know, start streaming again, make make this video to kind of get the creative juices flowing. I got my coffee sitting right here by me, and I have some thoughts on X Defiant, so let's hop on into it, huh? I keep trying to go in, and all I get is X Defiant services are not good. This will probably be it for me, dude. Oh, I can't, I, I can't get in. That's it, I'm gonna quit. So anyways, X Defiant is an upcoming game from Ubisoft, you know, the makers of Far Cry 6 and some other uh, forgettable titles like Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So they're, they wanna make they wanna make a new FPS. They've pushed it out a couple of times and they wanna set it in the Tom Clancy universe. And at first, I was really excited hearing about this game. I was a huge fan of Ghost Recon Online. As I think it was also known as Ghost Recon Phantoms, which was a free-to-play third-person shooter that was a bit more tactical. It was like you were playing the multiplayer of Ghost Recon Future Soldier, but it was free. So for a kid like me, I was like, that's great. You know, let me just hop on into it. Um, X Defiant is nothing like that. X Defiant um, is set in the Tom Clancy universe, and you can play as, like, Future Soldier adjacent people. Like, you can play as the Phantoms, but they don't really have, like, the same technology. They can, you know, everything's sort of like a... What do you call it? Like a uh, a Walmart brand version of your favorite Tom Clancy characters. And I, I don't know who is like asking for the Freedom Fighters from Far Cry 6 to be in here, but they are. Um, who also is here is like the cleaners from The Division. Um, you know, you get the, the future soldiers from, you know, from Ghost Recon. Uh, and you have two others. You have the Splinter Cell spies, and then you have the Watchdogs uh, dead sec hackers, which I didn't have available to me in the game, but I just know they're going to be added. There's going to be like five total factions. Now, immediately, like right off the bat as I was playing this game, I already noticed a huge issue. And that was the, uh, how do you describe it? It's not just the graphics. It was like the UI was like super laggy. Like it just didn't take my input. You know, I'd be clicking on different menus and then it would like stay on like the last menu that I was clicking on and then as I was going into a game there's a little bar a little progress bar on the bottom that tells you, you know how many uh players you're waiting on right that thing was like shaking up and down like sporadically I don't know what the problem was I was setting it I was setting the game to full screen I was setting it to window nothing would change this bar it just kept on having a seizure and then I realized that that was the same case with other characters in the game like like your your hair assets imagine if i i just went bald all of a sudden and then you see like my hair phase in and out of existence and that's exactly what was happening with um characters like the freedom fighters or i think one of the super spies she has like uh she has like bl you know black short hair it would just keep on phasing in and out of existence it's super distracting and it's not like the game is all that performance like it, it's not it's not that demanding of a game you know i had i had it playing on high and i thought it looked fine but everyone everyone looks kind of like plastic everyone is like moving around very very stiff and maybe it's the game's net code because like that was another issue i had at the game is that you couldn't get your shots off on everybody on anybody actually i couldn't hear them walking up to me i couldn't hear them shooting at me and so as soon as i saw them i think on their end they had already seen me and started shooting at me because i just dropped dead it was very it was very odd because i'd see people they they were going like 17 and 3 right um they would get like their ultimate ability off you know they were they were carrying their whole team then meanwhile me i'm going like 5 and 17 and and you know i'm not gonna say that like i'm the best gamer in the world and that i deserve you know a top spot on the scoreboard but i at least want to make the make the fight feel fair you know <laughs> and i think that you know hopefully they'll fix it um with the upcoming you know release hopefully they change the netcode to make it not super 
uh cruddy <laughs> um but there's other things that are like fundamentally wrong with the game on a design basis that i don't think they're going to be able to fix as easy as they could you know the servers and the net code so one of the major issues i had with this game was the freedom fighters class has this health boost it's called bio vita and what it does is gives you 25 more health points and increases your health regen so you can use your abilities at any time any time then that i would like shoot one of those freedom fighters i actually went up against a team that was all freedom fighters because they were just that unbalanced right um as soon as you shoot them they immediately have 25 extra hit points so they now know that you exist and they just want to go ahead and delete you and since i'm playing as a cleaner or a future soldier i have nothing to protect me from them and they're given the same you know weapons as all the other factions so you know they can one shot me with the sniper rifle they can take me out with the smg none of that matters so there's nothing preventing them from just continually pressing e to get that health boost and kicking your ass like it's not like when you get shot you can't use your you know it's not like there's some jitter or like delay in you using the the ability you know it's just immediate you press e and you have 25 extra hit points there's no there's nothing stopping them from like constantly using that mechanic so i don't think uh ubisoft really thought that through i'm not sure how often they were play testing this game but that bio vita boost needs to be nerfed asap or at least you gotta add something to the other classes to make them feel powerful right now i think the most useless class was the cleaner i didn't like using them at all i didn't care about the incinerator drone i didn't care about the firebomb i think that you know besides the freedom fighter maybe the future soldier is like the second best or the the super spies because having the intel and being able to see enemy positions was very useful and also having that barrier was great when you were playing the escort missions or domination to prevent uh people from just sniping you across the map so i'm not going to say all the other abilities are like useless but they effectively are when you compare them to what the freedom fighter can do right um i remember this was one of the main issues in overwatch when when anna came out as a as a playable character right is you know being able to just immediately throw down your health grenade i hope her name's anna oh my gosh I, it's been so long since i played overwatch so my bad but she's the sniper that can throw the the healing grenade that also prevents you from healing i just remember everybody was so pissed about that right because you can just throw it immediately get a huge boost and you also increase your your health regen and that's the same thing we're seeing with the bio vita and i can see like why they would want that um you know to put to place it in the game because they're a bit like a support class in that aspect but the issue is it's just so op like give them crappier weapons if you're gonna give them something like a 25 hp boost um there's also something fundamentally wrong, I think, with the gunplay. So I'm, I don't think it's due to the netcode. I think this is how this is due to how like the guns and like the gun field of view is designed. But when I was playing around with the sniper rifle, you can quick scope in the game, but there's something odd about the way that it kind of zooms in to the the scope. And one thing I noticed was like you're just way too zoomed in. Like your entire screen just has this big hole around it with a crosshair in the middle and maybe i just played too much call of duty or i've played other games with like better scoping mechanics but this wasn't it bro like this doesn't make doesn't it doesn't make you feel like you're using a sniper rifle like the gun doesn't feel heavy the shots don't really feel like they're connecting they don't really feel like they have a weight to them and i'm not talking about vibration you know i'm playing on mouse and keyboard but there's something with the the sound as well as just the mechanics of using these rifles that make them feel like I'm I'm shooting paintballs at people, right? Like we're we're playing a friendly game of airsoft. You know, I'm not saying the game has to be like super like gritty and realistic. You know, we already have Rainbow Six Siege for that. Well, yeah, be realistic, right? But um I think they could have added a bit more weight to the game and, and, and just to just play around with, with some of those variables. That way you can actually feel like, okay, I'm a real person you know it's because the first person shooter it's not like we're playing like some some third some third person you know like uh arcade hero shooter you know I, I understand like what they're trying to go for here and i really hope that the game is successful because i do want to see and you know a fun cod alternative especially one with like 
that's not full on hero shooter and has like factions instead. I want to see that succeed and I want to see it continue to do well. But at the moment, it's just not hitting it for me. So I want to know what your thoughts are on the game. Feel free to, you know, drop a comment, leave a like. Um, if you disagree with me, also feel free to dislike. I really don't care. I just want I just want to see some folks, you know, engaging with the video. I really appreciate that. Um, I just do this out of like the, you know, kindness of my own heart. I love, love to make the videos. I think it's a lot of fun. And I also had a lot of fun streaming. So I'll be sure to let you guys know next time um, when I actually do it instead of being so ad hoc about it. Um, but yeah, you know, things have been crazy over here. I'm just excited to uh, continue to upload to this channel. And I want to know what your thoughts are on, our, on Next Defiant. Let me know. All right. Bye, y'all. Love you.